Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make these white jean shorts for your stuffed animal. This was made to fit a Build-A-Bear or any similarly sized stuffed animal. Now let's get started! The materials you'll need are some pins, scissors, and your denim fabric. I'm using white and this was trimmed off of a pair of pants. You'll also need an elastic for the waistband and your patterns. These are the measurements I used. And of course you'll need a sewing machine. I'm going to start out by cutting out my pattern and to make things easier I'm just folding my fabric in half and folding my pattern in half and then just pinning them together like this and then I'm just going to cut this out. And I'm going to repeat this on another piece of fabric because we need two of these pieces. After both pieces are cut out I'm just going to flip them good side to good side and then I'm going to pin together one of the curved sides. And even though I'm pinning the whole side together I'm actually only going to so about an inch up the curve so i'm going to start at the bottom and just sew a little bit up after that you can see that only the bottom of the curve is connected and to close up the rest of that part i'm actually going to just fold over one side and then sew it on like this i'm doing it this way because i'm going to be adding a button later and i want to make it look like you're actually closing the pants with the button so i'm just going to have it overlapped like this and just do a straight stitch right up there after that i'm going to hem the top but I want to make sure that there's enough room for the elastic to pass through it. So I'm just folding it over enough that the elastic will fit. So I'm just going to pin this all along the top and then go all the way to the other side with it. After sewing a straight stitch all across the top, I'm going to attach my safety pin to the elastic. So I'm just going to put it in through one side and push it through little by little and then pull the fabric as it gets scrunched up. And I'm going to make sure not to lose the other end of the elastic inside. After it's through, I'm going to safety pin the two ends of the elastic together, and then I'm going to move on and pin together these curved sides of the fabric, and I'm going to just do a straight stitch all the way down, making sure to sew in that elastic as well. After that, I'm going to pull the pants apart so that the curves are now in the middle, and now I'm going to line up the inside of the pant legs and just pin them on each side, and then do a straight stitch all the way across. After that, you can turn the shorts inside out, and you are almost done. You can actually leave it like this if you want, but I'm going to add a button and those little loops that you would put the belt through. To make those little loops, I'm going to start with this thin piece of extra fabric, and I'm just going to fold it until it's very thin and all the edges are clean. And then I'm just going to go in with a needle and thread and just do a simple running stitch all the way down. After I made a few of those, I'm just going to position it on the shorts where I think I want it. I'm going to put my first one halfway in between where the button will go and one side of the pants. Mine was too long so I first cut it in half and now I'm going to fold down the top and using a needle and thread sew it as close to the top as I can. After the top part's sewn down I'm going to move on to the lower part and I'm going to make sure the strap isn't flat against the shorts. I want it to stick out just a little bit. I repeated that on the other side and for the back I put them kind of in the same position but I also put one in the middle. You don't have to do exactly what I did, you can do as many or as few as you want. And now moving on to the button, I chose this brownish button, but you can use whatever you want. And I'm just going in with a needle and thread and sewing that on right in the middle of the shorts. And after that, you are done! As you can see, I decided not to hem the bottom of the shorts, but that's just because I wanted the option of showing the frayed edges. You can hem the bottom if you'd like, but I just wanted to be able to roll it up to get that kind of look. If you want it rolled up permanently, you can go in with a needle and thread and just do a few stitches on each side to sew together the folds, but I decided not to. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!